Today we are going to test some aquarium water. Um, this is going to be fresh water, um, kind of a lower pH, so depending on the type of tank that you go with, you may need to either use a high pH buffer or a high pH test kit or a standard pH test kit. Um, so we use a little syringe in here. Um, this is actually some water a customer just brought in that needed tested anyways. So um, we're going to go ahead and test it. Um, we use the syringe. We use the API test kit in here as well right now. Um, you'll fill it up to um, right the line they have pre-marked on there, which I believe is five milliliters. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead, pre-fill four of them. Um, that way I can test my pH, nitrate, nitrite, and ammonia. And then we'll also go over how each bottle is used and um, shaking times, things like that. I'm sure this will take me over like six minutes. So first one, like I said, we're gonna use the pH test kit. Nope, somebody puts my stuff in the wrong side. Uh, we're gonna use the standard pH test kit. Um, tells you exactly how many drops to use. So this one we use three drops. And then just invert it a couple times to get it to mix up in solution. Next one I'm gonna use is a nitrite test kit. This one's five drops and and just invert that in a couple times too. The next two tests are two bottle ones. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do the ammonia one first. I just kind of shake them up a little bit on that one and drops of that one and I'll invert that one a couple times before I mix in the second bottle now with the nitrate test kit um, the first bottle, you can just shake a little bit and add that in. Where it becomes tricky though is when you go to the second bottle, um, a lot of people tend to forget this. Um, this bottle actually needs to be shaken for 30 seconds by itself. So the nitrate bottle too needs to be shaken for 30 seconds. Um, that's going to just kind of mix it all up. Obviously, that's why you shake things. Um, yeah. um, and we'll add the 10 drops of this one in as well. And then after you get the dosing on that one, you will go ahead and shake the um, vial for 60 seconds after that. Right. So then we will let it sit. All right, so now that our five minutes are up after we kind of waited, let it color it up a little bit, um, we'll kind of go over the test results and see, and I can kind of show you what they mean. So first one, which is actually pretty crazy, um, is our pH, which is extremely low. Um, depending on your type of fish, you may actually want it this low, but it's not very common. Most people keep their fish tank around a seven um, pH. Uh, depending if you're messing with African cichlids, you know, 7, 8, 8, 2. Most of your community fish are gonna be around the 7, uh, 7, 2. The next one that I have here is our nitrite test kit. Um, the nitrites are at zero. That's where you definitely want them. Um, means you pretty well have a healthy tank and the bacteria is actually breaking it down. 
The next one, uh, you also usually want at zero. This one is a little bit higher, around a 0.5 or so. And, um, but with that pH being that low, it actually kind of makes this into a different type of ammonia. Um, not as harmful, but uh, you don't want it kind of sitting there. The next one is your nitrates. Nitrates, generally zero to 20 is perfectly fine. Anything over really a 40, um, you definitely need to do a water change, change your filters. It might be, you know, uh, carbon's not working properly, things like that. Um, this one looks probably close to a 160. Um, so very high. Uh, definitely do a water change. Um, change out some of your resins, uh, whether it be, I like to use Puregen, um, the Pure Filtrum. Both of those are great products. Uh, a little bit better than carbon, but carbon will also help remove nitrate. So will having live plants in the or aquarium or just doing your water change helps get all that down.